It's Hornaday, Setzer, Brian Scott, Todd Bodine, Colin Brown, your top five. Oh, I'm loving this 10-lap sprint to the finish. They got eight to go when they take the green, and this is intense. Dennis Setzer is going to be on Hornaday. We know Hornaday is great at the restarts. He needs a great restart now if he wants to win once again at this racetrack. Both of the top two have been to victory lane before. Green flag in the air. You know, so much of this sport is give and take. This is the time of the race when you do a lot of taking. Well, we saw Brian Scott take third away from Todd Bodine. Now Brian Scott closing in on the back bumper of that eight. No Ron pressure Hornaday. from behind, bud. Great start again for Ron Hornaday. The final lap. Ron Hornaday has taken the white flag, looking for his 41st win in the Camping World Truck Series, a continuing record. As it comes out of turn number four, Hornaday will be a repeat winner at the Milwaukee Mile. Every now and then the fastest truck wins. No, this is certainly a case of that. Case today, the guy that had the dominant truck was able to bring it home. How about Ron Hornaday winning again on his birthday? Only two had done it previously. He was one of them, and he did it once again. And this truck yesterday, Rick Wren, not where Ron wanted it in the first practice. I know you worked on it awfully hard, and it paid off. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we struggled here really bad last year, so we brought a total different package, and we struggled pretty bad, like you mentioned yesterday in first practice, and I got to give credit to my guys. They, they don't give up, you know, and we made a bunch of changes for second practice. Then we made three major changes after practice last night, and I, I guess we guessed the right way. But, uh, you know, uh, this is Hornaday's birthday today, so uh, happy birthday to Ron Hornaday. You pitted under green, and then the caution came out. How concerned were you that was going to trap you and ruin your day? I don't expect it any other way. It happens to us almost every time we pit. But, you know, the, the Copart guys, we never gave up today. Uh, sometimes when, they, when the caution comes out right after green, we only took fuel. It actually fell kind of in our favor because we were with one lap of our fuel window. So it just worked out today. I, I can't believe it worked out because...